There's a comment that was made on my last video that disgruntled me a little bit. And it's something that seems to come pretty much from people in their 20s, maybe their early 30s, sometimes teenagers. And it's this notion that I'm trying to promote that the 90s way of looking at politics is the end all, is the the most that we're going to progress politics wise. And I'm like, uh, no, I promote a number of things that we could have only dreamed of in the 90s, but uh, are still trying to be promoted now. But oftentimes now it's mixed in with a bunch of other crap. Okay, I, I as I've said in many videos, and I, I wish I didn't have to keep saying it over and over again, but I believe in universal health care. I believe in free or reduced tuition colleges. Not the private colleges. Private colleges should be able to charge whatever they want, but if it's a state college or a community college, you know, you have free or reduced tuition colleges. I believe in government housing. You know, I, I, I believe in universal basic income. I believe in how, you know, obviously, I, since I said housing, I believe in housing the homeless. I believe in robust safety nets. I believe in police reform. And not just, you know, slight reform. I mean, major police reform. If we have to, if in order to get rid of the crap in the police, we, if we end up having to fire most of the police out there and rehire with better training and better standards, then so be it. But we need police reform. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of things that I've missed here, but I, I believe in a lot of progressive ideas. But what I do not believe in is getting rid of capitalism altogether. Okay, I believe in heavily regulated capitalism. Okay, we need tons more regulations than we have right now. Now, some people will say, well, the Republicans won't allow for the, there to be any reasonable regulations. And you know what? I'll agree with you there. They're not allowing that. So do you think they're going to allow for the dictionary definition of socialism where we gut uh, capitalism altogether? Do you, do you think they'll allow for that? We've got to push for things to work within the system we have. I don't believe in tossing out the baby with the bathwater. I don't believe in tearing down the entire system. I don't believe in burning down the system. No, I'm not going to argue for that. That doesn't mean that I'm stuck, you know, that I think we should remain in the 1990s. No, that doesn't mean that. Okay, we do need to move forward. In my last video, I'm saying we can't just keep, like, people for, for you know, the past, five or so years, people are responding to far-rightists, alt-rightists, fascists. They're responding to, like, sometimes, like I said, small group, less than a dozen people. They're responding to them with violence, with trying to get rid of these people's freedom of speech. And acting like it's doing some sort of good, and it's not. I'm trying to say, no, you're you're causing more harm than you're cause than you're doing good. It doesn't matter how many people see that there's still far rightists out there. Yes, we know there's far rightists out there. Don't give them the attention they want. That's my argument. Stop giving them so much attention, because that's exactly what they want. You know, I've complained many times in different videos about, okay, I've had run-ins with the group, with the uh, uh, gay activist group, ACT UP. The best ones I can describe are um, how I've seen them come up to uh, uh, 
Christian fundies at uh, pride marches and they run, run up to them and go, you have to accept me. It's just like, what does that accomplish? What did that do? How does that help? Do you think it's going to make them accept you? If you insult someone and tell them they have to do something, do you think that's going to make them just, oh, I, yeah, I think I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give in to your demands. Oh, I accept you now. No, it, it doesn't work that way. Do you think that if you call out people who you think are bigoted, is it going to stop their bigotry? Is it going to stop them from believing the way they believe? What kind of madness is that? Is it just an element where you, if you think if you can make people scared of stating their views, that it will change their views? All you do is put them under, you send them underground where they can stew in their, their beliefs even stronger because they can't discuss it in public. It's crazy to me. You know, I've talked before, and, and if you want to forward past this, because uh, I've talked about it before, uh, go to this mark right here, and you can skip past it. Okay? There was an anti-gay initiative here in Washington State in the early 90s that would allow businesses of all types, including hospitals and insurance companies, to discriminate against LGBT. Fully discriminate. And it would also do things like remove all books from libraries and schools, colleges, that portray LGBT in any sort of positive way at all. And they would say that uh, they're trying to get rid of L uh, special rights, apparently, that LGBT have, and they want to promote religious freedom. That's the way they'd word it. Yeah, it's religious freedom. Every time Republicans say something or right-wingers say something about religious freedom, you know it's about discrimination, uh, giving religious people special rights to discriminate that, every, that nobody else has, right? But uh, yeah, that's the way they worded this. They had a planning meeting at the Lakewood Mall. There's this special, the Lakewood Mall doesn't exist anymore. There's a special big meeting room that they had, conference room that they had a meeting at, that they invited anyone who wants to know more about the initiative can come, come and sit down and listen to the speaker talk. So some friends, some LGBT friends of mine and I dressed conservatively and went to this meeting. We had read the initiative up and down, understood everything about it, and we were there to occasionally raise our hands and ask pointed questions that would stump the speaker. And we did. We stumped him three times, and it pretty much went like this every time. We'd say, well, what about this that the, uh, that the initiative does? Well, it doesn't say that anywhere. Well, yeah, it does. It says it right here. Well, well that's not what it meant. Yes, but that's what it'll do. And every time that happened, we had people in the, on the, in the audience looking at each other going, wow, I, I didn't, you know, murmuring, I didn't know that it did this. I thought this was supposed to be about religious freedom. We were accomplishing a lot with our questions. We got people to see what it was really about. Suddenly, ACT UP barges into the room and goes, you should all be ashamed of yourselves. Shame. Shame. And everyone, and there's, I don't know, 15 people maybe. And every time they took a step, they said, shame, 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 circled the room. And by the time they were done circling the room, the speaker was grinning ear to ear because all the work that my friends and I had done to try to get people to see this stuff was toast. The people now had a negative view of, of LGBT and uh, yeah, the work we did was toast. And, you know, I, I, I wonder, did, did, did ACT UP really think they were accomplishing something with that? Chanting shame at people? What good was that supposed to do? Is that going to change anyone's minds? No! What my friends and I were doing was changing people's minds. But that was all toast. All because, you know, this 
radical type of activism. I just don't understand that kind of activism. I didn't understand it then. I don't understand it now. Look at the results of what you're doing. Actually pay attention to what's happening out of what you're doing. If you're just doing something because you're going through the motions and it makes you feel good, well, what good are your feelings on this when the results are crap? So another time, I thought, you know, I don't want to judge ACT UP quite as badly as I have. Let's go to a, a, let's go to a meeting. Let's go to an ACT UP meeting. So I did. Uh, this one was at, uh, oh, I forgot what the section of, of, it's in Capitol Hill, but I forgot what the, the particular section that CHOP was in, Chaz CHOP, and it was in that section of Seattle. I think it was above the uh, Value Village there. It's not there anymore, but, uh, or maybe a b couple buildings over. And I go in there, and they're talking about, uh, having a march uh, near the Capitol building in Olympia. Can't remember what it was actually about, but they want, they were planning a march. They were, uh, uh, you know, they were going to circle a whole section over and over again. And one of the things they said at the meeting was, yeah, we want to show that gay people are just like everyone else. And I thought, well, that's cool. This sounds pretty reasonable. And then they, they proceed to talk about the outrageous outfits they wanted to wear. And let me tell you, some of them were pretty over the top. They, they, they're things that could make RuPaul blush, right? And I, at some point, I asked, well, wait a minute. I thought we were trying to prove to people that we're just like everyone else. What's with, all, what's with the, planning all these outrageous outfits? Because that's who we are. Wow. You know, I, I said, well, you're in a room right now filled with people who aren't going to judge you. And I don't see you dressing that way now. I don't see you, you know, pushing for that. And they got so upset. You're just a bigot. 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 They all chanted bigot until they almost shoved me down a flight of stairs. And I, I left. Always had a very, very negative view of ACT UP from that point on. It was already bad as it was, but... That just cemented it in. I'm like, okay, they're fucking nuts. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if there are some good things they've done. The methods they've used have caused more harm than good. You know, I, I, I've seen a number of types of activism that, that, that uses this same sort of methodology. I mean, there have been some, uh, some instances where people would go to uh, uh, a politician's home and uh, you chant shame over and over again at them. I'm like, okay, what does that do? Well, you're showing them. You're showing them what? That you're upset? Do you think it's going to change them? Do you think they're going to suddenly change policy? And, and to the degree that I sometimes see now, do you think if, if you threaten them with enough violence and make them afraid that they're going to change policy, that they're going to change their minds? It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense at all. How is that supposed to do any good? So, you know, as I said, if making alt-writers, far-writers, fascists, if you meet this apparent goal of making them afraid to have uh, marches or rallies, do you think that's going to stop them from, ha from believing what they believe? Do you think that's going to stop people from wanting to find out what they really do believe and stop them from recruiting new people? Do you think that's going to stop them? Especially when doing such puts them all over the news, all over social media, all over the internet. They get all this free publicity. No, it's, it's, it's going to make more people look more into their, their beliefs. They might say, people might say, well, maybe their beliefs aren't that bad, even though they are. Their beliefs are terrible. But if we make people feel sorry for them, there's going to be more people grasping onto their beliefs. They're going to essentially recruit more people. I just don't understand. I, as I've shown in the beginning of this video, you know, I'm very much on the left, but there are some things I don't understand. Like, I don't understand 
people that push for extreme gun control, gun regulations. I, I don't understand that either. I mean, I understand it for general gun safety, right? Stopping gun accidents, but it's not going to stop mass shootings. Even if you banned guns all, just outright, there's still enough on the black market that if someone wants to get a gun and go on some mass shooting, they're going to do it. It's not going to stop dealing roofs. It's not going to stop people who want to get guns from getting them. Oh, but, but we have to do something. So something is, is better than nothing? Not always. If the something you're trying to do is stupid, I mean, as, as, as I've stated in way earlier videos, you know, if you make guns illegal, then only criminals will have guns. Then if people want to legally try to defend themselves, they, well, they don't have any legal recourse. Just rely on the police for everything? I thought you wanted fewer police. Some people are arguing to abolish the police. Now, there's some people who are saying, well, no, we just want to defund the police, but not really defund it. Defund them, but not really, right? Take away some of the money that would normally go to police and put into other programs. That's what we mean. And I'm like, well, you're still wanting to take away some of the money from the police. I understand wanting to demilitarize the police. I understand fully wanting to to have police reform. We need extreme police reform. We need that. But what does defunding them have to do with it? What's love got to do, got to do with it? So, yeah, to me, continuing to be violent towards far-rightists and alt-rightists and fascists, being violent towards them over and over again and somehow expecting a different result? Yeah, that's insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result, that is insanity. And I argue against it. That doesn't mean I, I, I want uh, everything. I, I think that uh, the 90s was the, the most we can change in society. The, the, it's the, the furthest point in politics that we can go. No, absolutely not. It's just that I think some of the ideas that are coming from some sides of the left in recent years are crazy. They're downright insane. And I can't argue for them. I can't promote them. I can't condone them. I guess I don't know what more to say. Thanks for watching.